Equine Extension Specialist at Oklahoma State University. And I'm joined today with my master's student, Brittany Kirkland from Florida. And we're gonna to talk to you today about your horse's salt requirements and how much salt they actually need, especially uh, when it gets really hot in the summer and horses are sweating a lot. So how hot is it gonna to be today? 105 today, 108 tomorrow, but the humidity is 77%. So I think our horses will be sweating, Absolutely. and therefore we really we're need sweating to, too. Yeah, we, we, we need to eat our salt too. Um, so for horse nutritionists, we tell people our horse's salt requirements um, in percents of their diet. So what I know is that horses require between 025 to 0.5% of their diet as salt. But for the average owner, do we know what that is on no. the top of our head? No. So we thought it would be actually useful to do the math and to show you what that looks like and then also to do a demonstration to help you visualize, well, how much salt is that actually? Mm -hmm. So let's do some easy math. And let's say we have a thousand pound horse and we're gonna feed our horse 2% of its diet or 2% of its body weight um, in its diet, which is what we recommend. So if we did that, that's 20 pounds mm -hmm. that that horse eats per day. Yeah, so that's grass, that's hay, and that is going to be your concentrate. That's everything. That's everything. And we tell you, well, 0.25% of that should be salt. So that doesn't always make sense to a lot of people. So let's just do that really quick. So if I'm gonna multiply 0.25%, what I'm actually gonna do is take my 20 pounds of feed and multiply it by 0 0.0025, and that tells me it's 0 0.05 pounds of salt. Which means nothing to us. Right, most people don't think about 0 0.05 pounds This of is salt. a pound, so. Yeah, so uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, you can use any old conversion table, you can use a Google uh, conversion, and essentially what that ends up being is about 23 grams of salt. So we're gonna weigh that out for you guys and show you what that actually looks like. So we brought a scale with um, and some different measuring devices so that you could kind of see what that looks like again using kind of our normal kitchen utensils. Yeah, so this is just a tablespoon and this is literally just like a kitchen scale. It's not anything fancy. Um, so we're gonna try to get to 23 grams. So, okay, so almost full there. There's one tablespoon and we're at 17.7. So we're not even there yet with one tablespoon. And it was a little, a little more than that. Yeah, it was kind of overflowing. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, so that's 23 grams of salt. Um, and again, that's on the low end. So that was about one and a third. Yeah, and the first one was a little overflowing, so probably okay. about one and a half. So one and a half, somewhere in there, uh, tablespoons. And that's on our minimum. And again, we said there's a range. So if we went more than that, um, it, it would be safe to say. So uh, a lot of questions we get, people when they read feed tags, they'll see that salt is included in their horse's feed. Mm -hmm. So I get questions, well, my feed says it has salt, why do I have to give my horse any additional salt? But what a lot of people don't realize, we'll do that real quick, is most feeds will actually contain somewhere between 0.5 to 1% of that feed is salt. But they won't even tell you, well, how much is it really? Mm -hmm. They won't tell you the grams, it's right. just a percentage. But if we went back and we thought, well, 0.5% of our diet, but Brittany, do we usually feed our horses only <laughs> grain? No. Not usually. So we have to think about how much are they getting from the grain that we give them. Mm -hmm. So let's say we feed our horse five pounds. And I'm gonna use the low end here at my 0.05. Uh, so that essentially, if I did the math and used my conversion table, that's only 11 grams of salt that that horse is actually getting from their feed. So what do we usually tell people then when it comes to feeding salt to their horse? So they need to give them more than just what's in their feed because that was literally only half of what we calculated, less than half actually. Okay. So. so what about salt blocks? We know a lot of people like to use salt blocks uh, yeah. to provide a source of salt. Yeah, they're great. Some, some horses eat a lot of them. Some horses don't eat enough of them though. And also 
they're, they're out in the weather, so you have rain and other things that are influencing how much is actually going to waste more than actually living your horse. Right, so. and there's good data out there that says, you know, on average horses will consume enough from their salt block, mm -hmm. but there's plenty of horses that don't really like to lick salt blocks at all. And again, in this kind of weather conditions, we'd be concerned about those horses. Uh, commercially, they do make loose salt for mm -hmm. horses that you might use instead, that yeah. horses find it a little easier to eat. Uh, but alternatively, we can actually use sail salt to use this. So uh, what we wanted to kind of finish our demonstration here is to talk about um, how much salt heavily exercising horses do uh, actually need, or even horses that uh, these really hot climates where they're going to be sweating continuously mm -hmm. over the next few days. So um, if we're going to, let's just double that requirement for our heavily exercising horse. And that's going to be a total of 50 grams of salt that we actually need. So let's go ahead and look to see how much we need to get us to 50 grams. So again, we have about a tablespoon and a half, a tablespoon and a third. So, and that was 23 grams. So I knew that feeding horses could be just like cooking. I know. Okay, so we're at 40 with one more tablespoon. Okay, so we're at... Two and a third. Let's see. Oh, I would prefer that one over there. Oh, why not? Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. It, there we go. So we were at about three tablespoons, three and a half tablespoons when we double that horse's salt requirement. Yeah. And some can go up to four. You know, obviously this is still dependent upon weight. So make sure you're actually doing that calculation. Too. Absolutely, so. because we were using only 1,000 pound horse in our, our, yeah. our demo here. Um, and so if you have a larger horse, you know, maybe closer to four tablespoons in these really hot climates mm -hmm. uh, would be recommended. So Brittany, how would you get your horse to eat this little pile of salt then? I would put it in my feed. Very good. So <laughs> most horses will actually eat this amount of salt if it's mixed mm -hmm. in with their feed, especially if you split it into two feedings. Uh, I wouldn't recommend just dumping it into their water no. uh, because we really want to make sure horses have an adequate source of water all the time, yeah. again, especially in the next Sweet. couple days. And when you put it in their water, sometimes they'll just completely stop drinking, and that is definitely that's the purpose of the salt, partially, is drinking. to keep them right. drinking, so we don't want to make them stop. Great. So. Well, we hope uh, you guys enjoyed our demonstration on our salt requirements for our horses. Uh, we plan to do some other educational videos in the future. Certainly, if you have any comments or questions, let us know. Uh, but mm -hmm. thanks for joining us. Or anything that you want to know about, let us know. Absolutely. We'll try to try to do a little video we'll on it. We'll do a little so. Facebook Live. Yeah. Thank you, Brittany. Bye. Thanks.